Onicart is a well-known card manufacturer. Introduced in 2018, the Razer 401R featured not only a new design, but also an improved aerodynamics package. Its M7 nose quickly became an iconic and recognizable feature of Tony Kart's lineup. In our previous videos, we compared the old nose designs of parallel and burial cards, analyzing their aerodynamic efficiency. Today, we are turning our attention to the old OTK front panel. It is completely hollow inside. At first glance, this seems like a major advantage for aerodynamics. After all, less material means fewer obstacles for the air to hit. The logic is simple, if air can flow freely through the nose, there should be less resistance, right? Let's find this out. One of standard features of the Tony Kart nose is how it manages airflow. Unlike other designs, it doesn't create as high pressure zones, instead air moves through it smoothly, reducing overall drag. This leads to a key advantage, less resistance means higher top speed on the long straights. But there is another interesting effect. Because of the way air moves, the Tony Kart nose kicks the airflow higher than any other Kart nose design. This creates the lowest pressure in the neck area out of all noses, and second lowest pressure area in the helmet region, which is another positive aspect in reducing overall drag. So what is the downside? Because the Tony Kart nose redirects air so efficiently, it doesn't generate as much front end downforce. This makes it ideal for high-speed tracks with long straights where reducing drag is priority. However, on technical circuits with lots of corners, you might find yourself lacking front and grip compared to a nose like the Parlin has. Now, looking at the numbers, our 3D model analysis gives the Tony Kart nose a drag coefficient of 0.57. That is the lowest of all tested nose designs. But there is a catch. This also results in a lift coefficient of minus 0.30. What does this mean? Less drag, but also less downforce on the front of the cart. The Tony Kart front panel stands out for its unique aerodynamic efficiency. The unique design allows air to pass through with minimal resistance, resulting in the lowest drag coefficient of any cart nose we have tested. However, this comes at the cost of reduced front end downforce. In our next video, we will finally explore the benefits of ducking down while driving. We'll analyze how body positioning impacts performance during a race and find out does it actually work.